feeling, man? You good? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, my name is Darren Harry. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm having a good year. I've lost a bit of weight recently. I've lost a stone in weight. Yeah, I've, I feel pretty good about it. Problem was, end of last year, I gained four stone in three months. That's bad, isn't it? That's quick as well. I knew I gained a lot of weight really quickly because my memory foam mattress is now just a mattress. <laughs> it looks like a fucking yoga mat. <laughs> the problem was I tried something for the first time last year and it became a bit of a problem for me. I'll tell you right away, it was red wine. <laughs> I had never tried red wine before. True story. Um, it sounds stupid, but I didn't think it was for black men. I grew up in the early 2000s, right? Watched a lot of rap and R&B videos. They were the guys I wanted to be like. They never drank wine. Even now, you watch a rap video, they're not fucking drinking wine. They're not surrounded by women going, ah, 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 Merlot, player. <laughs> never in your life, so I just thought it was one of those things black men don't do, you know, like fake tan or a comb over. <laughs> We can't comb over our hair because of the way it grows. Uh, I'll be honest, some of these aren't even jokes. <laughs> That's just a fact, so you can tell your friends that at work, if you like. Probably say hello first, don't go straight into the black guy hair thing. <laughs> but ease yourself in. I'll tell you what got me into wine, it was the labels, the descriptions. Oh, it's like the fused spices gives you a rich, intense feeling. <sighs> for $4.99. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of cheap bastards in the room, yeah, that's me. I'll tell you what I don't like about the labels on wine. The serving suggestion. I am done with that serving suggestion because they always make it seem like you've got a classier evening planned. It's like this wine goes well with lamb. Lamb! <laughs> I hope this tastes good with Monster Munch. <laughs> Tell you a bit more about me, I'm 35. Um, okay. Uh, I like being 35, I do. I feel like every year, as I get older, my age is slowly catching up to my level of boldness. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't know why I took my hat off like a, some sort of magician. <laughs> like I'm about to unveil a bunny rabbit or something. But, I, I really like doing, being bold, and I'll be honest with you, Melbourne. Um, I'm attracted to bold women. Yeah, it's gonna get weird. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm into it. In particular, bold black women. That's my type, yeah. I'll tell you why, because it's like a unique connection that I've never had before. And I like it, you know what I mean? Like, she's black, I'm black. She's bold. I'm bold. We're gonna live our bold black lives together. I'll be honest with you, man, I'd do weird stuff with her. She'd be like, why are you licking my scalp? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Even our foreplay would be weird, we just rub our bold black heads together. I'm gonna fill your brain, honey. She can wear a wig. I quite like the idea of her wearing a wig. Cause then in the bedroom, I get to rip it off in dramatic fashion. Like I'm unveiling a Scooby-Doo villain. <laughs> it was you all along, Keisha. <laughs> Even the sex would be amazing too. Doggy style with her? Be like, is that what I look like from behind? <laughs> be a bit weird if I just left now, wouldn't it? <laughs> I've been Darren Harriet. Peace.